Hi guys and welcome back to another spooky box unboxing. Um, today I actually have two spooky boxes that I'm unboxing. I didn't realise that we had two coming. I'm not up to date with it. I have to try and keep an eye and see what's coming next and everything like that. I didn't know we were getting two. If you want to hear my thoughts and stuff about spooky box I will link the video below where I talk about it and stuff. Um, I did it in my last one because I just had some kind of issues and stuff like that and just thoughts and things that I talked about in that one. I won't do it today. Um, I will just talk about the specific box. I have no idea what order these are in. I'm going by what the Haunted Bat has put up. Um, I saw she put up her ones and she started with the Dark Agenda box. So if um, you want any more information on this box, like getting it um, posted to you if you're on an island and stuff like that, I will link a blog post below. They're always below. Um, I totally forget how much the boxes are but in pound, but I pay about 30 to 32 euro depending on the conversion at the time. But that's the amount that I um, pay for it. So um, yeah, so I have two boxes. Um, I will be just filming one now and... I will have the other video up in a couple of days. So, Dark Agenda. So I'm kind of hoping that there's my stationary stuff in this because the the writing is kind of scribbled and on the back of it you can see what looks like a copy. You know, like the lines that are on a copy. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that there might be some cool stationary stuff. So I'm gonna open it. Oh my God. And um, we have a look inside, I'll let you guys see, I won't look. I'm just going to leave it down here and I'm going to blindly take out different things. That's Merle there by the way, he's chilling with me. Okay, the top is, oh right, okay, so we haven't been getting noodles. We used to get like little kind of scrappy paper stuff. Um, so now we're getting this. I have to say this, I prefer the noodles because you can recycle them, I don't know. If uh, can this be recycled? You know, it is plastic. Um, yeah, anyway, it's just to protect everything that's in it. Okay, I have this. Oh, that's the cheat sheet thing, so I'm just gonna leave that here. We'll read that at the end. Come on, what's the first thing? Oh, a pencil case. So I did think we must be getting a pencil case. Um, I have a lot of pencil cases, just cute ones that I buy from AliExpress and stuff. So I don't actually have many um, spooky ones and this looks really nice. Oh, I thought it was cloth, but it's actually um, like fake leathery, I suppose plasticky um, and it's got bats on it. I absolutely adore this. I love this. This is so nice. So it's just a standard um, pencil case. Um, you can see it's just got, it's got nice lining in there. So if you do spill any ink, um, it'll be easily cleaned up. I really really love that that is so nice um and it's got bats on it stars and moons and it's purple and yeah and purple and black and it's just that is so nice i love i really do like that a lot next this this is a pin i'm gonna see can i guess what it is no i can't guess what it is it's just kind of square or something oh i love it it says to-do list Carve a pumpkin, order a pizza, watch scary movies, eat all the candy. Um, my spooky to-do list, custom made a limited edition pin. That is so, so nice. Um, I'll obviously get a close up of that so you can see it better. But it's like, um, yeah, it's like a little to-do list written on a piece of paper. And it's got a little bit of tape on the top like it's stuck to your wall or wherever you have your to-do list. And it says to carve a pumpkin, order a pizza, watch scary movies, eat all the candy. And it has two bats either side of it and then some little like sparkly stars. Um, I really love that. I actually, I really, really like that. That is, that is so cute. That is such a good idea. Um, that's so nice. Um, for anybody who doesn't know what to do with pins, um, because sometimes I am afraid to wear them, but I do, I have started wearing my pins, but I have like, um, in one of the spooky boxes we got like the little hanging flag thing where you can put all of your pins on. I absolutely adore that because it's like you can display them. They're like a piece of art, you know, that you've hung up. So that's what I'm doing with all of my pins. I'm buying those type of flag things. I'm pinning them to things and hanging them on my wall so that I can see them um, rather than putting them away somewhere where you kind of forget about them and stuff. 
so this will go nicely on my little pin display I absolutely love that so that's purple and black as well so it's a bit of a team okay this feels like pencils or pens oh we have purple ones these are pencils oh I thought there was nothing on it but there is okay this is unusual they have like toppers on the pencils and they have erasers down here so I'm just gonna take one um, I take them all out because I feel like there's different things written on the sides of them these are pretty cute um, now one of my toppers is broken like you can see there's a crack in it um, I don't mind that though it's just they're just plastic like tops just to protect them I've actually never seen them on pencils before so there is stuff written on the sides and there um, and there okay I'm gonna read it now it says which please on this one it says if you've got it haunt it on this one and it says creep it real on this one so I do know that you can get these fairly cheap in that with the writing though I don't know how much like I suppose they ordered in bulk somewhere like a wholesale place and got the writing on it but they're actually pretty decent pencils they're pretty big and um, they're really long so it would take a while for you to get down to the writing um, you know the, the, basically the writing's not going to get ruined um, very quick and then the toppers um, have like glitter in them or something so they're not too bad um, will they fit into the pencil case I don't know they'll fit into the pencil case without the without the toppers I think but um they're cute I don't I I'm a bit iffy about um, pens and things just because they can be very cheap but they they are nice okay this is something in a pack <sighs> oh <gasps> Oh my god! This is so nice! Oh, okay, I have no idea how you use this, but they're, they're stamps. So it says Gothic stamps for planner and journaling enthusiasts, which I do use a planner. Um, make everyday spooky stamping kit. Versatile stamps with additional spooky words and icons. 199 clear stamps in acrylic stamping block. Um, to prepare your stamps, carefully cut around each stamp and retach them to the back, to the backing sheet. Remove the clear protective film from your acrylic stamping block before use. Mount on the acrylic block, ink it up and stamp away. And then you just clean it with a baby wipe or you can wash it with soap and water. Yeah, this is really nice. Protect, perfect for all of your paper crafting needs stamp in your planner, bullet journal, book of shadows, traveler's notebook or Hobonachi. Hobonachi, I don't know what that is but I'm gonna have to google that. Um, this is really nice piece of stationery I have to say. Oh yeah, they're all in there. So you can kind of see one has come a bit loose here. Oh my god, no you can't see. Right here one has kind of come a bit loose you can see that they're all individual pieces I'll definitely try and get a close-up but basically there's Monday and um, there's the dates just like Mon, choose Wednesday like that um, there is morning afternoon there's numbers there's like email and stuff like that there's all different kinds of um, little emojis and then there's just loads of days like Halloween Christmas and veggie picnic traveling snack face mask so i suppose if you have a scheduled day for a face mask and then there's some bats and stuff um and then there's a little um planchette down here this is really nice um i definitely will have to try that out and see if it works and i'll get back to you if you guys watch my vlogs and stuff there's the block so i'm not too sure exactly how these work but i will definitely um try them out um if you guys want to see me trying them out just watch my vlogs and stuff and um, I will try and like have me using it in it if I can that's pretty cool that's something unusual um, and pretty good okay oh <gasps> I had to look because it was so big I went, oh my god this is so good hang on now let me get it out oh oh my god yes this is amazing. So it's a a weekly planner. Um, I have one of these that I actually don't use that much, but um, I think I'm gonna have to start using this one. But it's a weekly planner, so you have Monday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and the weekend and you have to do up here and you have notes down here and there's ghosts and there's tombstones and a skull and bats and clouds and more ghosts and a moon and I absolutely love it. So I'm thinking what way this works is I'm not going to get it open. I'm sorry I don't have the nails for it right now but it's in plastic and I think what way it works is kind of like a notepad. You can tear off the sheet when you're done with it or you can tear off the sheet and stick it to your fridge for that week and then like get rid of it when you're done with it. So that's kind of, they're kind of um, just re, they're, they're like tear off ones is what I'm trying to say. And um, I, I love that, that's so nice. And the little stamps will come in handy for them as well. Okay, what else do we have? Something here. Is this candy? Oh, I think this is a rubber. I thought it was food. <laughs> I think this is a rubber. Um, hang on. So yeah, it is. It's definitely a rubber. So um, yeah, over here we call them rubbers. I know in America, you don't call it. You call them erasers, but we call them rubbers because they rub out things. Um, yeah, this is definitely one, and it's in the shape of a bone, and it's black, and that's cute. Okay, I'll leave that out. Okay, there's something else. A print or something maybe? Oh wait, no, there's something here that I can't get a grip of. More of these sweets. Okay, so we've not been really getting the lollipops. Um, Parma Violet, delicately, delicately perfumed violet sweets. So we've been getting a lot of these sweets, so I don't know if they're doing like um, a deal with them or what, but um, I don't really, I'm not really fond of them. Our ones are actually still in there. Anyway, I'm gonna just take this one out because I can't get, okay. Yeah, this is a print and this is like the days of the month. Um, we got one of these before and I didn't keep it. I just recycled it. Um, I probably do the same with this in fairness. It just has all of the months of the year. It is handy for any, but I have a calendar. I have things on my fridge already and I found that this was just taking up space and I didn't use it. So um, yeah, it just says 2019. It has some spider webs on it. It's a very dark purple and it has all the months. But yeah, I think that must be everything now. Yeah, that is all that was in it. Um, I'm going to read off of this now and we'll go through it. So um Custom made, oh well, sorry, I should say Spooky Box Club, Dark Agenda, um, box number 45, custom made 2019 calendar print. I'm not bothered about this at all. Like I said, it'll probably just go straight to the recycling because I don't use it. Um, custom made ghostly planner desk pad. So yeah, you can keep it on your desk and do your stuff, but I just, the way I've seen some people use it is they like tear off the thing and just like stick it up on their, um, fridge or anywhere like that but you can use it in all different ways um this is really good i really love it um and i will definitely try to use it um custom made planner stamps and stamper so i have to try these out so hopefully these work these are really really cute really unusual um i really like it i just i like all of the words and yeah you've even got like haunted and cemetery gothic spirit fortune teller witchy and uh, ghost hunting witchcraft um, woodland like you've got low there's loads of words in there um yeah if you want to see me trying to get this to work or that definitely keep an eye out for my vlogs and i'll try and do it in that um custom made slim bat print pencil case this pencil case is super nice um i really like it it'll definitely get used i have tons of stationery and stuff i have even more now because of this box and um yeah i'll definitely um use it i think it's really cute the print is really nice custom made pencil set plus protector caps so yeah that's just interesting with the protector caps i suppose just so that you don't get like they're fairly sharp so you don't get like um stabbed with them but yeah these are okay um i'm not incredibly crazy about them but i see why they added them in and they are actually a pretty decent pencil and they're pretty big they're not like small or anything so um yeah um Custom made my spooky to do list pin. I absolutely love this pin. I think it's super cute. I love the writing on it. Carve a pumpkin. I wish I could carve a pumpkin now. Um, yeah, I really like that and I can't wait to display it. Um, spooky bone eraser. Um, 
I can't say that I'll be using it, I don't know, but um, it's still nice and it'll be added to all of my spooky stationery anyway. And um, I don't hate it. And then Giant Parma Violets Vegan Friendly. So that's the sweets, um, which I'm not mad on, but um, yeah. Steve will probably eat them anyway. So that was a pretty decent box. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I liked everything in it. Um, it stuck definitely to the team, I think. Like Dark Agenda, it was definitely all stationary stuff. Um, yeah, I I did like that. I, lo I love stationary. So um, yeah, it definitely wasn't a miss this time. I know they've done stationary things in the past and some of it hasn't been too brilliant. But um, no, this, this is pretty good. I liked it a lot. What did you guys think of it? What was your favourite thing? Um, I don't know what my favourite thing is. Like, I really do like the pencil cases. I have to try the stamps, but I think maybe my favourite thing is the pin. I really do like that pin. So, anyway, I'm going to go now um, before the light fades and I'm going to film the other one. So, um, the next one is... I think it's going batty or gone batty or something. Going batty. So, I'm hoping for lots of bat-related items. I'm very excited to be opening it. If you want to see that video, I will have it up in a couple of days and I will link it below when it is up. And if you want to get like notified, just subscribe, click the bell icon and stuff. And um, you should get notified of when that is up. I'm very excited about it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.